I have a lot of respect for people who are trying to learn basic mathematics because we all start with basic math. I remember when I started learning mathematics, I struggled a lot. I didn't even finish high school and I got into a local college and they put me in a class that used a book like this one. So in this video, I thought I would show you what I think is the best way to get started with basic algebra. So if you are missing mathematics, maybe you're older like I was when I started, maybe you had a bad experience in high school, maybe you didn't finish high school, or maybe it's just been a while and you're getting back into mathematics, or maybe you just feel like you've never been good at it. After watching this video, you will have some tips and guidelines and resources that you can use to get better at mathematics. So the first thing you should get is a book. And by a book, I mean an actual textbook, not, not a workbook. I've made plenty of videos where I recommend workbooks, which are like thin little books which you can buy. And they're good, but in this video, I wanna focus on an actual textbook. So a textbook, an example of a textbook, is one like this one. See how thick that is? This is super thick. And books like this one, they have really good examples that you can work through. They show you all the steps and they have answers in the back of the book to the odd numbered problems. Now you might say, well, can't I use an ebook? You can, but the really big problem with math ebooks is that when you're writing on paper, like if you have a piece of paper and you're writing on it and you have to look up at the screen, it creates a disconnect. And it's really, really hard to do something difficult when you have to move your head up and down. I know it sounds silly, but I've always struggled with that. You know, you wanna carefully follow every single step as you work through the examples in a book like this. So a textbook, I think, is far superior to an ebook for mathematics. That's just my personal experience, and therefore it's you know, my opinion based on personal experience. So what is this book? This book is Intermediate Algebra. It's the fourth edition. The edition isn't really going to matter. This is the one by Tussi and Gustafsson. And this is a pretty good book on intermediate algebra. It's nice and big and thick, and it's got everything you need to get really, really good at algebra. I will leave a link in the description of this video in case you want to buy this book. When you click the link, you can buy it new, or you can buy used copies. Just look for used copies, and you should be able to get one at a decent price. So how do you use a book like this? Well, let me just first show you the contents, and then we'll talk about how you can actually use a book like this to get really, really good at mathematics. So this book contains tons of information. Let's start at the beginning here. So it starts with a review of basic algebra. So just really basic stuff, the real numbers, and it's worth reading, 100% um, worth it. Graphs of equations of lines and functions, systems of equations. These are things that you would see in a college level course on intermediate algebra. So if you decide to go to college someday, or maybe you're already in college, these are things that will help you. And that'll help you not just in this class, but in other math classes. Inequalities, exponents, polynomials, and polynomial functions, rational expressions and equations. Then over here we have some more topics, radical expressions, and equations, and then quadratic equations, functions, and inequalities. And then this here, logarithmic functions, this is usually not covered in intermediate algebra. This is like a college algebra topic. So you have some math topics. And one of the best things, oh, a couple more things here, conic sections, and then some other topics here. These are usually covered in a pre-calc class. So this book, while it's an intermediate algebra book, does contain topics that you would see in college algebra, and in pre-calculus, which make it a really good choice for, you know, if you're gonna spend money on something. So something that's important that needs to be said about learning from a book like this is that when you teach yourself, it's going to stay with you longer. When you actually sit down and read the book and, you know, you try to solve this system of equations on your own, it's going to stay with you longer than if you just went to a class and sat there and just like passively absorb the information. When, when you read, there's something about reading and doing math that makes it stick. It's just the amount of effort required to do that, the amount of effort that you have to put in, it kind of lets it stick in your brain better. I remember the things I've read more than the things I was taught many times. Whenever you read from a book, especially mathematics, it tends to stick. It tends to really stick. 
So how do you use this book? Well, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is find a quiet location, right? Have a place where you can sit down and you know, distraction free. So if you have family, if you have kids, you have friends, try to shut that out. If you have a phone, put it in another room, turn it off. You wanna have at least you know, 20, 30 minutes where you can sit down and work on mathematics. And then start where you, need, where you feel you need to start. If you are just buying this for self-study, you can start at the very beginning and just go through you know, the first exercises. But let's just say you're taking a class and let's just say that you know, you're somewhere here in, I don't know, let's go a little bit farther. Um, chapter three, you know, systems, systems of equations, systems of equations, uh, algebraically. This is a good one because this is something that most people will see in a college level course. Let's go to the beginning of this section. So this is where this section starts, right? This is the, the, the format of every, every pretty, pretty much every section. So it tells you like what you're supposed to learn, which is really nice. It's a modern book, so it's really nice. It gives you a method, so you know, you read all this information carefully, and then you have your first example. And it's got a lot of words because it's meant for people who are trying to learn mathematics. So you go through it slowly, you kind of just read all the steps. And ideally, ideally, once you go through an example, when you get to the next example, like say you, you go through this one and you get to the next one, this one's significantly harder because it has um, you know, some other stuff here, like uh, decimals, but what you wanna do is you basically want to try this one on your own. Now notice this one says here, self-check, solve the system by substitution, and then it says, now try problem 17. So if you go to problem 17, Problem 17 is here, right? X plus 2Y equals 6, 3X minus Y equals negative 10. So that's a really nice problem, right? Because that problem, not only uh, do they have it uh, right here for you, or very similar to this one, right? See how it's very similar? 2X minus Y equals negative 10. Here it's 3X minus, so it's very similar. You have an answer to this one in the back of the book, because it's odd. So it kind of guides you through the process uh, and then when you get to the next example, as I said, you know, you try to do it on your own. So basically the idea is you want to try to do these on your own before you actually go through it. And look how many examples you get in this book. It's completely ridiculous, right? Completely ridiculous. So excellent book uh, for self-study, I think. Um, and I think it'll help anyone who is trying to uh, get better at mathematics. Yeah, tons of exercises too. Most people you know, don't sit down with a book like this and work through all of it. So if you were able to do that, I think you would just, it would just be an incredible amount of information you would know. Most people who take algebra classes don't work through the whole book, right? They just do some of the problems, they do some of the exercises. I'm sorry, I have to smell it. Oh, it smells really good. Really good quality pages too. Anyways, just a random quick video. Um, is this the best book for learning? Honestly, it's pretty good. Uh, I'm not gonna say it's the best book, but it doesn't really matter that much. As long as you get a textbook on intermediate algebra, this one's really good because it has a lot of examples and it has topics that you'll find in higher level courses. So I do like this one. I think this one's a good choice. Anyways, oh, another way to learn. If you don't want to get a book, I do have courses also. Although I do think a book is the best route, but obviously I want you to buy my courses, so do that too. <laughs> but but uh, books are better, I think. But if you want courses, if you feel like videos are your thing, check out my website, mathsorcerer.com. My courses are on the Udemy platform, and um, just please use the links through my website as that helps me. But yeah, and I have a course on college algebra which you could use to learn mathematics. And if you're not a subscriber and you feel like you found any value in this content, consider hitting subscribe. But yeah, until next time, good luck, take care, go do some math.